Salutations, crustaceans. I'm Lobster, and today we are going to be modifying my custom Warmoth Telecaster base with a set of EMG Les Claypool pickups. Let's do this. This is my Warmoth Telecaster base. I featured this a couple times on the channel, and to be honest, I really don't play it that much. And because of that, I actually put this up for sale, and the buyer asked me if I wanted to do a mod video on this. Originally, I declined, but then I got curious about what this base would sound like with the EMG Les Claypool pickups. In my last video on this base, I mentioned that if those pickups were out when I initially put this together, I probably would have gone with that route over the MECs that are in here today. Not that I'm disappointed with the sound of these MECs. I think they sound great. However, today we are going to do a back-to-back -back comparison using the same bass, same set of strings, and two different sets of pickups. The first one is the MEC P bass pickup here. This is an active P, and it features a 25K stacked volume and tone pot. The pickup is active and does require a 9 volt battery, as does the EMG Les Claypool. Now to maintain the stacked control setup, I have an old EMG stacked concentric pot 25K for active pickups, and the EMG Pachyderm Gold pickups. We'll also be installing a set of Hipshot Ultralight tuners on here to replace the shallers that uh, I ordered on here. I think I ordered it, you know, you can get them through Warmoth when you put together stuff. So yeah, anyways, we are going to be doing some upgrades to this base. For a more in-depth video on this base in its current form, check out my videos linked in the description below. But now, let's get to the playing. You all know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. is a good sounding bass already. I think these MEC active pickups are definitely capturing the vibe and overall uh, sound that I wanted, but I'm very curious to see how these EMG sounds in comparison. So again, this is an MEC active pickup. Uh, we have the tone up at 100%. Let's play our little bass line, bass line, and play with the tone control a bit, and then we'll head over to the workbench. Let's take the tone down to about 50%. And here's the tone all the way down. So there we have it. That is the uh, gist of the tones that we're getting from this MEC pickup. I forgot to mention that we are strung up with pyramid flats on this one. These are the pyramid gold flats. I think this is the only bass that I've ever had with these and they're okay. <laughs> but let's head over to the workbench and swap out our pickup. So here we are, we are at the workbench and we are gonna be installing the EMG Les Claypool Signature Pachyderm Gold pickup in place of this MEC here and also a new stacked control, a concentric pot. 
We'll also install some hip shots. I'll do that after. But first things first, we are going to remove the strings and then start taking this base apart. Okay, now with everything unscrewed over here, we're going to flip over the base, open up our control cavity, and start disconnecting everything. Now with everything back here, let's go ahead and remove our battery, and then we will disconnect our pickup. We're also going to desolder the, uh, the controls to the pot here. So we're going to remove this pot. We are going to keep the stock battery mount here. We are going to remove the existing battery harness, though, and unsolder uh, everything from the jack. Okay, with the pot removed, we can also flip the base over and remove our pickup, and then we can install the EMG unit. So as I mentioned, we are gonna be installing the EMG Les Claypool Signature Pachyderm Gold Pickup and this EMG 25K Stacked Volume Tone Control. Ooh, shiny. That is a real metal. It's not the plastic casings that the regular ones have. Pretty nice. I think they look nice sitting in there. Let's go ahead and uh, screw them down, and then we will uh, start installing our stacked volume tone control. Now, one thing to note is that the form factor of these is different than a standard peapot. Here is the stock screw, and here is the one that we're gonna be using for the pickup. So we are gonna be using a long screwdriver piece to make sure we don't damage the body. And uh, let's go ahead and screw these down. Okay, with the pickups installed, let's go ahead and flip the base over once more and install our stacked volume tone control. <clears throat> okay, this is a fairly simple install. It only requires a few wires, and this should be mostly, if not completely, solderless. reinstall our battery and kind of secure everything and then we will secure the pot on the other side before reinstalling our knobs. Now let's reinstall our cavity cover right here. I'm just going to use one screw for now and we'll reinstall our strings and just make sure that everything works. Okay. <laughs> Now for real, let's reinstall our strings and see how this sounds. Okay, let's head over to the wall and see how it sounds. And we are back. We have successfully installed the EMG Les Claypool Pachyderm Gold pickups into our Warmoth Telecaster base. And I think they look great, but how do they sound? Next, let's take the tone down to about 50%.
Let's take the tone all the way down. very nice. So I think that the pickups sound very similar because of their overall relatively similar construction. Uh, both active P pickups, low impedance with an internal buffer of some sort. I really don't know the specifics of either, but I think that both sound great. And to the new owner of this instrument, I hope you enjoy this bass and these EMGs as well. Now let's go ahead and install the Hipshot Ultralight Tuners. This should be relatively straightforward. We've done this before, but let's do it again. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to go ahead and remove the strings once again. And next we'll rotate the base and start unscrewing our existing tuners. They should pop out and then we will remove the bushings before installing our new hip shot tuners. Okay, with our tuners removed, let's go ahead and install our hip shots. Okay, here is one of our hip shot tuners. We will also be utilizing our painter's tape trick to make sure that these tuners are fit as well as possible here. I know there's other methods to do it, but we got the tape here, it'll work. And that is it. We've installed our Hipshot tuners as well as our EMG pickups. Let me know what you think about the end result down in the comments below. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord channel, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about my Warmoth Telecaster bass and the EMG Les Claypool Pachyderm Gold pickups. And as always, until we groove again.